Hello everyone, this is my video on top 5 launches for 2014. These are the best launches to get you started with Android and its customization. If you have not been through our previous episodes, the link to it is on the description. So without further delays, let's get started. The first one here is the Aviate Launcher. Aviate is an intelligent home screen for any Android devices running gingerbread and above. Like every other launchers, Aviate replaces your phone's stock home screen into an intelligent home screen, which is highly customizable and learns the way you use your phone. I do have to tell you that this launcher is still in the beta phase and you have to either have an invitation or wait a few or a couple of days to use this launcher. One of the coolest feature of this launcher is that you can create or manage profiles for your home screen. Like by default, we get home, work or going somewhere profiles. We can also add profiles based on locations, which is very cool in my opinion. So if I tap on nearby, I get my closest locations and if I tap on any of them, I can create a profile based on the locations. I can post to social networks with the location tagged, take a picture at the location or simply check in at Foursquare. Here we have some information about the location and if we swipe here, you can see the pictures that were taken at the location. So let's move on to the profile. Let's go um, home. So this is my home profile. I can add things I basically do at home like setting the alarm, staying on the do not disturb profile, checking weather, using some of the apps and stuff like that. To add apps on the profile, simply tap on the add button which will bring you recommendation of the apps that you want on your profile. To add the app already installed on your phone, simply swipe left once or twice, select the app you want, tap and hold and drag and drop on the morning routine app list or your favorite apps list. So swiping down you get a picture widget which you can change by tapping and holding. You can add your widgets, add your favorite apps here. Your favorite apps remains unchanged no matter whatever profile you are in. So going to the work profile I can add things I usually do at work like sending emails, creating events, adding apps that I usually use at work and my favorite widgets similar with the going somewhere and other nearby locations. So let's move on to settings. Here you can see the battery status and power saver mode shortcut. Below that I have apps I usually use for settings like trigger, play store and so on. You can change the theme of your home screen like you can change it to light theme or dark theme mode. So let's move on to app drawer. Swiping left will bring you the apps that are classified according to the category like work, music, games and so on. And tap on the add button to add apps on that category. Tap here to view all apps in that category. On the settings you can manage your categories like you can select the category or remove them. Swiping to the left we have all our apps organized in an alphabetical order. You can slide on the side to jump between apps alphabetically. So that's pretty much it, um, very cool launcher, you should definitely check it out. Next one is Go Launcher EX, another highly customizable and premium launcher. The best part of Go Launcher is that it comes with many themes and most of the themes are free. Once you install this launcher, you get a very cool transitions for home screen and app drawer. You also get this cool toggle based widgets and other widgets which can be downloaded from the Play Store. This launcher comes with its own store for apps and games called Go Store, where it selects the top apps from the Play Store and gives us the direct link to choose between those apps and games. We also get this widget showing us recommendation of the apps based on the category. You can swipe down to bring down the notification center and swipe up for quick settings. Tap and hold on any empty part of the screen for personalization options and pinch for home screen settings. We have this go store shortcut here and options for sorting, creating folders, clearing cache and so on. We have this search option for our installed apps or on the go market and 
we have this recent apps with a widget to clear our memory now let's move on to customization you can add your favorite apps widgets and create folders you can manage your wallpapers apply and download more themes as this launcher comes with a lot of themes let me just quickly apply and show it to you there you see you can also add its own lock screen and download a very cool app called toucher pro you can also choose effects of your transitions for scrolling through the home screen pages moving on to the launcher settings we have common settings for default launchers icon settings for applying icons from different themes font settings background settings screen settings Settings for the app drawer, dock, defining gestures and transitions, and advanced settings for advanced options. So another cool and customizable launcher, very minimal and runs without a lag even on low-end devices. Next one is 3D Home, another cool launcher. With 3D Home, you get a room-like 3D effect for your home screen. You have a wall facing ahead of you with TV showing videos on your library. You have a shelf where you can actually keep your apps that you use the most and you can slide around for your whole room like effect. If you slide down you have a very cool weather widget which will look like you are watching at the sky. And if you slide down you have a table like dock. This launcher provides you a very unique way of using your phone. Tap on the icon to bring the app drawer to browse all your apps. Tap and hold on any of the app you feel to keep on your room or say home page and you have your shortcut on a shelf of your room. Tap and hold to add 3D objects, application, shortcuts, widgets or change wallpaper for your home screen. Tap on the options to go to the launcher settings for additional customization options. You can manage your wallpapers, enable or disable full screen mode. Hide or show self, adjust orientation, set weather settings, and other options. So, a very stylish launcher for any Android smartphone. Next one is TSF Shell. This launcher is one of my favorite. This launcher is highly customizable and you get a lot of features with this launcher. This launcher changes the way you use your phone. Right from the home screen, you will see that this launcher is different from other launchers. As you can see, we get this very cool transition between the pages. You have this sidebar for quick toggles and favorite apps and widgets. A small icon on the top here lets you quickly switch between the pages. You can download this live weather widget and this 3D calendar from the Play Store. You have customization options here by default and TSF's own widget folder to download more stylish widgets from the Play Store. And we get this very stylish talk. Now, the coolest feature I have noticed is that you can actually move the dock to different part of the screen or you can hide it. You can also tap and hold on any app of the home screen to view settings like renaming the app, choosing a different icon packs and so on. You can pinch in to view the quick settings for different customization options like themes where you can download more themes from the play store and apply it. Here let me just quickly apply and show you. There you see. Effect is where you can choose the effects of different transitions between the pages of the home screen, clickings and screen for the transitions of the app icons. Gesture control for defining your own gesture, icon settings for defining your own icon pack and icon background, density settings for icon sizes, dock settings for transparency, slide bar positions, lock and unlock the settings of the desktop. App drawer settings, enable or disable the slider bar, 360 degree home switcher and uh, tips on how to use different features of this launcher. And tap here to view all settings for this launcher. Tap and hold to bring the quick options for adding widgets, jumping to settings for dock and home screen pages, quick settings shortcut, change your wallpaper and add your favorite apps shortcut. Let's move on to app drawer. At the top here we have some settings for our app drawer like choosing between the transitions, organizing the apps in an alphabetical order or according to the date it was installed, and settings for uninstalling any apps, hiding any apps or showing hidden apps. So moving on to the settings we have options for our desktop, wallpaper, 
preferences folders and options for backing up and restoring the launcher's preferences and layout restarting the launcher and other details so another very cool and customizable launcher for any android last one for today is the buzz launcher another premium and customizable launcher this launcher is very minimal and uses very less resources meaning this launcher runs on low-end devices as well once you install this launcher you get a very cool home screen with these small stylish icons cool dock with transparent icons these widgets of its own which can be downloaded from the play store you can swipe down to bring down the notification center and swipe up for app drawer another cool feature of this launcher is that you have its own store for themes and if you sign up for this launcher you can also upload your own themes you can download from its huge collection and most of the themes are free here let me quickly download and apply and show you there you see you can double tap on any part of the home screen to view quick settings or you can tap here on quick settings you can jump to app drawer change your wallpaper adjust your home screen pages upload your contents and so on you can tap and hold on home screen to add items to your home screen and change decorations and wallpapers so let's move on to app drawer here we have all our apps in alphabetical order at the top we have tabs for apps and widgets at the right we have options for creating a new folder and other app drawer settings like managing apps grid size and so on and we have the slider menu on the left for our buds profile and buds contents our home packs or say themes icons and wallpapers our recently used and installed apps let's move on to settings here we have settings for our gesture backup and restore the settings of this launcher and other advanced options for this launcher so a very stylish and a customizable launcher that's all for this video guys i will be coming up with more videos very soon till then you guys have a great day bye bye now